speaking to me so clearly today. And he said to me, he says, um, I want you to greet. God bless you, Ronald D. Green. The Lord bless you tonight. The Lord began to speak to me and he said, I want you to um, address the elephant that's in the room. Uh, actually, I was sitting in this very chair and the Lord said to me, are you going to say something? And I said, God, you have not permitted me to speak. I said, and I cannot speak until I cannot speak. God bless you. My brother is on. My brother in love is on. He said, I cannot said to the Lord. I cannot speak until you will permit me to speak because I don't want to be another preacher or another prophet or another influencer, whatever that is. Um, and God bless you, Zion a Adams. Good to see you on. Um, I don't want to just be out here saying stuff and doing stuff and putting the stamp of God on it and hoping that God will receive it and hoping that God will honor it. No, 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 no. I got to do as an apostle, as a prophet, I got to do exactly what God is telling me to do it, the uh, telling me to do the way he's telling me to do it, or I'll be in trouble with God. So one thing about me, I don't sugarcoat, I don't water stuff down, and I don't compromise. Bless you, court. We're praying for your family. Please know that I've been praying for you this week. I seriously have. And I love you so much. Show one that staggers grace and peace be unto you as well. Um, I cannot do it the way that everybody else does it. I'm sorry. And I know that, um, you know, we, we, we follow the crowd sometimes. And we like to do things the way that the crowd does things. But I have to do things the way that God tells me to do them. And I don't care. And my family, my blood relatives are on here um my family can tell you i don't compromise they cannot agree with me about something but if god told me to do it guess what i'm gonna do it come hell or high water or if i do something that i'm not supposed to do and god tell me that i'm wrong about it or that i shouldn't go about it that way guess what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go back i'm gonna apologize and i'm gonna get it right we need some apostles we need some cheap apostles we need we need some bishops. We need some pastors. We need some evangelists. We need some teachers. We need some believers that will just stand up and take a stand for the truth tonight. Huh? We need some people that'll just take a stand for the truth, okay? Because we're in a time where there's a lot of lies being preached, and that's why I want you to share. That's why I want you to invite your friends in, your coworkers, your prayer partners, those that you're in fellowship with, those that you're in covenant with, especially tonight, because God is going to be dealing with relationships. Mm-hmm. God's going to be dealing with relationships and we've got to talk about, we've got to talk about relationships because everybody wants to talk about an anointing and a charge and a mantle and a shot. And, and we want to talk about being high in tongues, but we're high in tongues. We're high in preach, but we're low in character. And so God is saying tonight, and this word is not for the faint at heart. I'm going to go ahead and tell you that. God is speaking tonight to a people that will hear him. He's not talking to stiff necks tonight. He's not talking to people that already have their own agenda. He's not talking to people that have already fabricated in their mind their own story and their own interpretation of a season that they can't discern nor sniff out. Y'all ain't saying nothing to God. He's not talking to people that don't have an ear to hear. Come on, Mother Virginia. Come on, Apostle Patrice Anderson. But he's talking to people, Elder William, that will hear him tonight. So I come tonight, Pastor Byron is on. My baby brother is on. I come tonight as an orator of the gospel of Jesus Christ to declare to you what God is saying in this hour. Now, if you receive receive it good God Almighty you're gonna go to another level you're gonna go to another dimension and you'll be unstoppable impenetrable and undefeated but if you don't receive it guess what I'm gonna do I'm going to shake the dust <laughs> I'm gonna shake the dust off of my feet because God told me he said this year you will not be 
He said, you will not be the people's prophet. He said, this year you will be my prophet and the people must develop an ear to hear. So God is speaking tonight. I need you to tag your armor bearers. I need you to tag your prayer warriors. I need you to tag your intercessors. I need you to tag your wife. I know she's in the bed, but tell her, ambassador said, get up because there's a word. I know that your husband is laying on the sofa and he got his feet. He got his feet propped up even now. But tell him that there's a word coming through the chief apostle. There's a word coming from the man of God. Huh? There's a word. Tell your mama. Tell your daddy. Tell your sister. Tell your brother. There's a word tonight. So God began to speak to me. And I was sitting in this very chair and he said to me, are you going to say something? I said, God, if you permit me to speak, I will. Because truthfully, and I heard um, Dr. Latoya Powell say this yesterday, and I almost took my rag and threw it at the back of her because she didn't even know that God had been telling me the same thing. The first thing that God said to me was, I'm getting ready to suspend the voice of the prophet for a season. This is what God said to me. He said, I'm getting ready to suspend the voice of the prophet for a season because my prophets have been crying loud now. They have been sparing not. They've been telling the truth. They've been doing what I told them to do. They've been speaking what I told them to speak. Y'all ain't saying nothing. They've been orchestrated by me to carry out a particular assignment and they've been doing what I've called them to do. The problem is, it's falling on stony hearts and deaf ears. So because we are a spoiled people, because we are a generation of people that don't know how to honor, respect, Lord have mercy, or cover the anointing or the anointed ones, we take them for granted. We shuck and jive with them. So God is removing the permanent prophets. Y'all ain't saying that to God. He's removing permanent prophets, some out of some people's life, others out of other people's ministries, others out of others' reformation, some out of other families. God is getting ready to shut the mouth of the prophet. You better hear me tonight. God is getting ready to shut the mouth of the prophet because there's getting ready to be a great silence that comes upon us because God's prophets have been decreeing, they've been declaring, they've been speaking the word of God, but there's an elephant in the room. There is an elephant in the room. It's in the church. It's on our job. It's in our family. It's all around us. And everybody's dancing over it. Everybody's preaching over it. And everybody put your hand behind your ear and say, yeah. Everybody doing that over it. But God said, mm -mm, you're not going to be able to hoop over this. There's a time for peace and there's a time for war. There's a time where you gotta be silent and then there's a time where you got to deal with stuff head on. You got to face stuff head on. This is not the season to be timid. This is not the season to be afraid. This is not the season to be scared. God bless you for whoever's releasing your seed already. I don't blame you. I was so into this anointing because I feel a shift coming in just a few moments. And so, and so God said, they cannot dance over this. Somebody's got to address the elephant in the room. Well, if you don't know what an ambassador is, or why people call Apostle Malik Winstead the ambassador. Is that a grand title? Does that mean that he is higher than an apostle? No, my ascension gift is that of an apostle and that of a prophet. When you're truly called to the apostolic, you're able to tap in or major in all five ascension gifts, commonly known as the fivefold according to Ephesians chapter 4 verse 11. You got the whole rundown. And so when God sends forth an ambassador... There must be an individual who will stand as an apostolic diplomat. 
Lord, have mercy. There must be a representative that will stand, hallelujah to God, that will stand on the behalf of a particular nation or group of people and represent as a chief representative. And for the last five years, I've been praying for some of you that are not even a part of my ministry. I've been laboring for some of you. I've been fasting for some of you. I've been putting up consecration days. I've been asking God to grow your money. I've been asking God to see him financial relief and a financial release. I've been asking God to pull you out of low the bar and to get you out of the place that you're in. I am that prophet that's been interceding for the last five years. For the entire body of Christ There will be days I will go and sleep at the church for weeks Laying on my face praying for the kingdom of God Ministries connected to me People on my social media People that watch me on TV People that watch me on YouTube People that are watching me on Facebook live And the Lord said to me I'm getting ready to shut down the prophetic grace I'm getting ready to cause there to be a prophetic shut down. He said because people are not loyal, Lord have mercy to the anointing. He said people are loyal to what they can benefit from the anointing. So now you got people that are trying to benefit from an anointing that they won't submit to, an anointing that they won't sow into, an anointing that they don't tie to, an anointing that they won't protect. Lord have mercy. I don't even know how I got into this, but the reason you can't defend your leader is because you're talking about your leader. The reason why you can't cover your leader is because you're dogging your leader out. I don't know who I'm talking to, but there is a hybrid spirit that has been released into the atmosphere. And you might as well go ahead on the shelf because I'm going to address the elephant tonight. There is a hybrid spirit, good God, help me to deliver the word tonight, that has been released into the atmosphere. Causing us to believe that what is right is wrong and what is wrong is right. Lord have mercy. It is a perverse spirit in nature. It is a spirit of the python. It is a spirit of the snake. Y'all ain't saying nothing to God. And when we talk about perversion, we want to, uh, our, our limited thinking wants to go off of, um, men sleeping with men and women sleeping with women. No, 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 no. Y'all ain't saying nothing to God. The spirit Spirit of perversion is a spirit that twists and twines and winds and distorts the truth. And there are many people of you tonight, people of God, that are not able to build effective relationships, effective marriages, effective partnerships. Come on, Prophet Israel. Come on, Prophet Jeffrey. They can't build them because we are dealing with the spirit of perversion. And I'm not talking talking about the spirit of perversion that make you want to have sex all night long. I'm talking about the spirit of perversion that will cause you to walk around with an offended spirit and still try to prophesy. I'm talking about the spirit that will cause you to go home and talk about people with your children and then get in their face and smile like you like them when you know you don't like them. I'm talking about the spirit of perversion Version that causes us to act like we're for people that we're really against. I'm talking about the spirit of perversion that will cause the truth of God to become a lie. Y'all ain't saying nothing to God. Now me personally ain't got no problem with how people want to live their life. But your truth is not the truth. The truth is this. That God never allows us. Let me slow now. God never allows us to come into relationships, come into covenants, because watch this. If you are a prophetic individual, you don't just meet people on accident. 
Every individual that you encounter, there's a purpose, there's a reason, there's a season, and there's an assignment. I'm going to say this again. There's a purpose, Marquis. There's a reason, there's a season, and there is an assignment. Apostle Felicia Winstead, Marquis Nixon is looking for somebody that can play for headquarters church on a weekly basis. Inbox her after the, after the Facebook Live so that she can get your information and so that you can become our new musician for headquarters. Watch this. I got something to say. The spirit of offense is on the loose. Oh yeah, go ahead and check. I said the spirit of the Bashi commander, the Lidio Shema. The spirit of offense is on the loose. Now I've been in a very quiet season. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, P.I.T. Sylvia Sims. I've been in a quiet season. Ain't been doing a lot of prophesying because that ain't what God told me. Ain't been doing a whole lot of Facebook live because that ain't what he said. Ain't been having a whole bunch of church services because that ain't what he said. And my, my problem is this. If I'm going to preach and I'm going to teach and I'm going to sweat and I'm going to sweat out my clothes and I'm going to holler and scream until I don't have a voice and I'm going to walk the floor and preach and prophesy until I can barely walk and until my family members and other bears have to pretty much pick me up and put me in the car. Y'all ain't saying nothing to God. If I'm going to do that kind of labor, it's going to be behind somebody that wants the anointing. Now there are people that are on this line tonight that want the anointing that is coming from this Facebook live. They want the anointing that is seated upon us now. And if you want the anointing, you got to make some sacrifices. I'm sorry, but anointed vessels, Lord have mercy, number one, are going to walk alone because you're going to be misunderstood. People ain't going to be able to handle you. People ain't going to be able to take you. You're going to go through a lot of stuff, but I come to let you know tonight there's a reason and there's a season. And I come to prophesy about to 235 people that your season with the people that you've been Entertaining is getting ready to shift. Somebody need a debacar, Somebody need to hit share tonight. I told y'all it's gonna be good tonight. It's gonna be good tonight. It's gonna be good tonight. Apostle Richard D. Nix, I have a word for you. I don't know if I'm gonna give it to you on the line or I'm gonna inbox you, but God did give me the word that I'm supposed to be speaking to you. Let me tell you this. At number one, when people call me ambassador, it ain't to set me apart from everybody else. It ain't to make me greater because really I'm I'm the least of them. Really, I'm the servant in the room. Y'all ain't saying nothing to God. I know how to go into a room with other people and make other people feel special. Y'all ain't saying nothing to God. I know how to fade into the background and become a part of the background without being seen. I know how to blend in and fit in. I know how to get in where I fit in. But watch this. There comes a time where God anoints you. How? Huh? Now let me tell you this, God, and you can say it about you tonight, God has anointed Apostle Malik Winston to be a truth teller. He got the truth in his mouth. And God said to me, there's some people that still want to hear the truth. Not everybody want to hear a watered down gospel. Not everybody is sensitive, Pastor Andre. Not everybody can't handle correction. Not everybody can't handle the truth. There are some people that want to hear what God is saying. There are some people that say, tell me the truth so I can make heaven. And the problem is we got a problem. 